Hey everyone, thank you again for joining us for another one of our BFT Tech videos. Uh, today we will concentrate on our primary and secondary motor hookups. Uh, let's say for your slide gate or your barriers, uh, specifically Deimos, Aries, Icaro, uh, your Giotto, your Michelangelo. Uh, all of these will take uh, the same type of board hookup, the same type of cable hookup, and the same type of programming. Um, so please, um, you know, before you get to this spot of your setup or your installation, uh, I do recommend that you have each motor installed individually, running individually, opening and closing no problem individually before you move to this moment. Uh, you know, you could check the link out on top specifically for the Deimos and Aries hookups uh, to show you how to run through the setup for each side. And then of course, uh, once that's complete, uh, then you can move on to this next step. Um, again, uh, you know, before you start, another thing to make your life easier is make sure everything you have wired, whether it's accessories, uh, whether it's any type of safeties, any type of that, you want everything hooked up to your primary operator. And of course, this is our primary for demo purposes. Um, also, you want to make sure any remotes that are programmed are programmed to the primary. You can check a link out on top for that as well, uh, how to program your remotes. Uh, but again, make sure everything's programmed to primary and if you program some to the secondary by accident, that's okay Follow this link right here to erase all of your remotes uh, from the secondary All right So now we've done all that uh, another thing I recommend before we get started is uh, The cable you are going to use to connect these for primary secondary uh, I myself recommend cat 5e or cat 6 uh, direct burial shielded cable uh, that will give you your, you know, your best chances of not getting error 50s and it lasting a very long time. Um, so of course, once you have your cable, the next thing you will need to make sure you can complete this setup is you will need uh, two um, Biva RS-485 links, right? There's a part number there, it's the name of the part. You will need one per motor uh, for them to be able to be connected together uh, with that cable I mentioned earlier. Um, all right, so now we just got to go over our dip switch settings and of course our wiring. Uh, remember, these motors are powered down. I recommend having them powered down while you're playing with this, plugging things in and out. Um, of course, we will check the primary side. And if you notice over here, you have some dip switches. So right here, one through four, you want on the primary to be all up or all on. And of course, I'll go over the wiring here. Uh, try not to double up on cables per hole because you think, you know, hey, I want to get uh, you know, more copper going to my other side. No, just keep them separate. So let's say I chose a pair of blue and blue white. I went to B and A, and then I chose green by itself and went to zero. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't have to be those colors exactly, but you know, follow, follow my logic on this and how you guys did it to make sure you get the least amount of interference. That's the whole purpose of them being a twisted pair. All right. So we got the primary side set up. We can plug it back in. Of course, you got your cable running over to your secondary side. You will want to, as far as the wiring, you will want to follow the same color combination. So you got your blue, your blue, white, and your green, same order as the primary side. And then of course, with your dip switches, you will want to make sure your one and two are down or off and your three and four are on or up, all right? So now we have our wiring, we have our dip switches, we have all the hardware we need, we have everything hooked up the way it's supposed to. Uh, now we are able to power on the motors. And now we will enter into the programming uh, to make sure both sides um, are set up, you know, as primary and secondary. So in order to get into the main menu, you will press the OK button twice quickly. All right, it'll say halt, OK twice again, it'll say parameter. We want to go down to logic by pushing the minus button, push OK to select logic, and now we will scroll down until we find serial. It's kind of close. Serial, we will push OK. All right, and now this one that we want to be the primary, where we have everything wired to, is going to be set as three. All right, you will push OK to select it. It'll say program. If it's not three, of course, change it to three by using plus and minus, then push OK. You know, it'll go back to serial, and now you can exit out. We will now go over uh, to our secondary. OK twice quickly. Okay, twice quickly again, you see parameter, push the middle button minus to get to logic, push okay to enter logic, push minus to scroll down until we find serial again. Once we find serial, you will push okay. Now your primary needs to be set to two. So as long as your primary is set to two, you will push okay. 
it'll say program, it'll go back to serial, and now you could exit out. If all goes well, you should not have any error 50s and they should be set up. And of course, if everything's programmed correctly, you should get both operators operating in tandem. All right, just one more tip that I wanted to go over. Uh, you know, for the Deimos, I know if you're using uh, the UL325, you can't necessarily uh, get the secondary side programmed individually because you need a photo beam for that as well. Um, but what you can do is, you know, get your primary set up, get your primary working, connect your slaves, uh, excuse me, your secondary side, hook them up together, make sure they're working, and then the, the secondary will run slowly, learn its limits, and after they run together a couple times, you could adjust your torque accordingly and then get them set up nicely. But, you know, for the most part, that is your basic primary and secondary setup that can work for all of our slide and barrier gates uh, mentioned. Thank you so much for joining us.